if you're looking for the best 8K TV, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers, and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Samsung QN900A Neo QLED. Ushering in a new era in television technology, Samsung's Mini LED Sporting QN900A Neo QLED 8K TV offers stunning picture quality, exceptional color and brightness, terrific sound, and outstanding blacks, all in a package that's unmatched in terms of design. For the unlimited Samsung's Quantum Mini LEDs, are 1 40th the thickness of a regular light emitting diode, meaning thousands of smaller LEDs can be packed together in a much tighter fashion, allowing for far more accurate dimming zones and black levels that are particularly distinguishable from an OLED to this reviewer's eyes. Of course, that does not mean Samsung's Neo QLED is able to produce lights and colors at the individual pixel level like an OLED TV can only that it does a comparable job when it comes to contrast. Outside of its new lighting technology, the QN900A excels in terms of picture quality with an astonishing 8K resolution display that does a brilliant job of upscaling 1080p at 4K content thanks to the AI-based Neo Quantum Processor 8K. The Samsung Q900A is a pricey television as it is to be expected from this year's flagship but three sizes across 65-inch, 75-inch, and 85-inch allow for some variation of budget, starting at $4,999 for the smallest size. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Sony Z8H, ZH8 8K TV. As ever, Sony has put out a truly stylish, well-crafted television. The fact that its 8K is just a bonus, the Z8H, ZH8 Master Series OLED exemplifies everything so good about Sony's debut 8K television. The Z9G by ZG9 but drastically drops the asking price. Whereas the previous model started at $13,000, you can get a 75-inch size for the new model for a far lower $4,999. With 2500 nits of brightness, HDR pictures look truly dazzling, and Sony's approach to backlighting means that the brightness is retained with peerless consistency even while ensuring shadow detail isn't lost in the mix. Wrapping up a stellar all-round performance is some of the most detailed, powerful, and clean sound we have heard from a built-in TV audio system yet. You will find support for HDMI 2.1, albeit for only one port, rather scant provision compared to some other TV makers. However, the lack of VRR and ALLM at launch has since been fixed by an over-the-air update. Samsung earned the top spot for its superior upscaling and packaging in more 8K compatible inputs, but we wager you won't be disappointed with this alternative either. The number 3 position is held by Samsung Q800C QLED. Samsung carved the way for 8K TVs nowhere more so than with the Q800T 8K QLED. Samsung launched three different 8K QLEDs last year rather than the single flagship in 2019 and it means 8K shoppers have some choice around how premium they really want to go. You're still, playing you're still paying considerably for this 8K screen but for a 65-inch screen, you're getting a sharp 1000 pound, saving over the 75-inch Q950TS albeit by cutting a few corners. It's not quite as eye-grabbing as Samsung's bezel-free designs, but there's no denying the strength of the picture. Upscaling is still market-leading, and even HD sources look incredibly detailed on this 31 million pixel display, even more so than on Samsung's 2019 models. Black level performance too is surprisingly hard-hitting. You won't confuse the set for an OLED, but there are still very inky blacks on show, largely thanks to new Samsung tech that redistributes power between dimming zones to better control the amount of light coming through. 
The Q8 100T also features OTS and while it doesn't pack as many drivers as the Q950 TS, it's still a knockout audio experience. Next at number 4, we have LG Z Series. Bringing these two premium technologies together is nothing short of a marvel and we can attest to the brilliant picture quality, OLED level colors and crisp contrast with a wide sound stage that puts the audio output on an even keel with this exceptional 8K panel. LG judges its 8K TV slightly differently from the competition using a CM measurement that stresses the ability of individual pixels to distinguish clearly between each other and certainly succeeds on that metric of its 8K TV surpasses 90% CM despite only needing a 50% baseline more than Samsung. It's a shame that LG doesn't rank higher in this list, but the combination of a massive price tag and its restrictive size options temper our excitement somewhat. LG is leaning more in 8K models these days, but the offering in OLED is still limited. 2020's LG ZX OLED does improve matters, adding a cheaper 77-inch alongside an 88-inch model, whereas the previous LG Z9 only had the latter options. You can read our review of the LG Z9 OLED to get a sense of what's on offer or have a look at prices for the more recent ZX model below. Finally, the number 5 position is dominated by Samsung Q950TS 8K QLED TV. While we haven't had a choice to formally review Samsung's gorgeous new Q950TS 8K QLED TV, we did get to see it in the flesh at CES 2020. It left an impression that's still with us. Seeing that a TV has a truly edge-to-edge -edge display is one thing. Seeing it for yourself is quite another, which is why you will have to take our word for it. The Q950 TS and its infinity screen must be seen to be appreciated. Then there's the Q950T's thickness or lack thereof. At just 15mm thick, it's almost as thin as an OLED panel and shockingly thin for a QLED TV when you consider it still incorporates Samsung's 32 times full array LED backlighting, something OLED panels don't require. Hanging such a TV on your wall will be more like hanging a thin picture frame but without the frame. While not really what we'd call affordable, the 85-inch Q950TS costs $13,000 considerably less than even the 77-inch LG ZX and you can buy one right now. We still don't know the pricing on its other sizes or when they'll go on sale. Unlike the LG ZX which is almost unchanged from the 2019 Z9, the Q950TS is an all-new model making it difficult to predict its performance. That said, we're very familiar with Samsung's 8K QLED efforts to date. Assuming the Q950TS is Samsung's flagship, it will offer a noticeable step up from its previous range, topping Q900, and should be a gorgeous TV all around. It gets Samsung's adaptive picture technology, which lets the TV adjust picture settings automatically as room lighting conditions change, something you'll find on TVs equipped with Dolby Vision IQ. Beyond the picture quality of the Samsung Q950TS, we're very curious to test Samsung's Object Tracking Sound Plus, a feature Samsung says adds realism by letting you hear on-screen objects as they move about. Samsung has a history of staying away from Dolby Lab technologies, so we expect this is simply Samsung's version of Dolby Atmos in the same way that it supports for HDR10 Plus is an alternative to Dolby Vision. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.